So you want to become a director and you want to do it fast. Well, it's easier than you might think it is. I'm Jared, I'm a filmmaker, and my passion is helping you make better films on a micro budget. So do the things and let's roll this. So the first thing you need to have is knowledge. Knowledge is understanding the foundation or the medium that it is you're working in. If you're gonna go build a house, you probably need to know how to use a hammer, a saw, understand how nails work, and structural stuff to hold the house up. Same thing goes with making movies. You need to understand what a movie is, how it's pieced together, and obviously some basic storytelling elements may benefit you in the long run. So understand the story. Some ways that you could do that is watch a bunch of other movies. Not just watch them, but study them. Identify what parts of the movies that you like the most, what parts you don't like. See if you can understand why you like them or why you don't like them. Your favorite shots, your favorite performances. Study film. Quentin Tarantino is a great example of this, understanding that he studied film like a film school when he was working at that video store. He didn't just study it, he went in and analyzed. It was crazy, you can do the same thing. And especially with streaming platforms, there is an endless supply of movies to watch. You also should read. I highly recommend upping your knowledge by learning what other professionals might might have to say about the matter. So some books that I would recommend, The Five C's of Cinematography, Directing Actors, Film Directing Shot by Shot, I'll link below, but those are just some examples of ways you can expand your knowledge to understand the medium. <laughs> Filmmaking is, in essence, visual storytelling at a rapid pace, meaning 24 frames per second, you are telling a story. So you need to have a story. Story is a foundation of making movies, but it is also one of the hardest parts. Some quick ways though to think of making a movie to become a director is what kind of stories are around you. The Duplass brothers made their big debut at Sundance with a movie about a guy trying to record his voicemail message. Think of something as simple as that. It doesn't have to be crazy, and sometimes you don't even have to write it. Obviously, there's a lot of story elements that you can do to make it better, and I've linked a playlist here so that you can check those out. But in essence, you just need to find something to tell a story about. Want to make a documentary? Find some object in your home and make it about that object. There's a ton of stories in public domain. Think Shakespeare, Edgar Allan Poe, uh, Ambrose Bierce, a lot of the gothic horror story writers. There's so many stories in public domain that you should be able to just go grab those stories, proven stories, make a movie on it, and if it works, then you know your filmmaking is on an upward momentum. Maybe the hardest one is to write your own story. Write a full script, hash it out, all of that stuff. Screenwriting is not easy. And there's so many tools that people teach and understanding the fundamentals of what it takes to write a story can take years to master. In fact, you may never actually master it. So that would be the last resort if you're not fluent in storytelling. But hey, you know, why not? Give it a go. You're a director, right? Why not add writer onto the front of that? These are all prep to actually being a director. To be a director, you have to make a movie. To be a film director, you have to make a movie. So let's shoot it. The easiest way to do this is to grab a camera. Luckily, it doesn't have to be the new Arri Alexa or Amira or six Alexa, six, whatever those fancy cameras are. 
Do you have a GoPro? Use that. An old handy cam from the 1990s? Sure, if you can figure out how to get it off of there, use that. Or you can even use your cell phone. Many of them shoot in 4K, but bonus, you don't have to shoot in 4K. 1080p is a standard delivery format for a lot of movies on streaming platforms, like Amazon, for example. So get a camera. Ideally, you can shoot in 1080p and just start shooting. There it is. Now you are an actual film director. Editing is another part that's going to oftentimes be the bottleneck in your workflow because editing takes so much time. Computing power will dictate how smoothly it goes and even software. Luckily, there's a lot of options to choose from. You have Adobe Premiere if you're going to pay a subscription model. Final Cut Pro X is a one-time fee. Blackmagic's DaVinci Resolve has a free version. You can pay for the studio version with additional features. HitFilm is another one. And maybe you don't have a big, massive computer, but you do have like an iPad. LumaFusion might be the way to go. There's so many different options, and you don't necessarily have to pay to use them. I believe Blender even has a free editing, or it is free, but Blender might have an editing software feature within their 3D animation software. So, so many options for you, no excuses on the editing front. There it is. That's how you can become a director extremely quickly. Granted, making a movie might be one of the most stressful things that you will ever face in your lifetime. If that is the case, you are very blessed because it's just a movie. But with knowing that, it is not an easy task. It takes a lot of planning, a lot of prep, a lot of coordination to get it looking right, to get it in a place where people understand the story you're telling, and just to make something packaged in a way that people will want to consume. But it, again, is not as hard as you think. So hopefully that is something that will inspire you that if you break down and take away all of the minute details and just the broad strokes, it's not as difficult as you might think. So go out there, find something to make a movie about, shoot it, edit it, bam. You're a director. Hope you find that interesting. If you need more filmmaking resources, you can check it out on my shop linked in the description below, and I'll see you in the next video.